happening right now. Governor Malloy continues to talk about transportation here in Connecticut. He just wrapped up a news conference in New Haven talking about new bike lanes. News aide's Ken Pierce live in our New Haven news from this midday to break down the uh, the details of this plan. Ken. Yeah, Keith, we just got back from that press conference a few blocks away. Governor Malloy has already made it clear that improving transportation infrastructure is the priority for his second term. It's a big project, as you're about to see, and today he talked about one small part of it, the part that involves vehicles without motors. Governor Malloy's plan for an overhaul of the state's transportation infrastructure is big, very big. In the coming weeks, uh, we will roll out a comprehensive plan uh, that takes us over the next 30 years from where we are, uh, where uh, our transportation is holding our state back. It's so big and comprehensive, we're hearing about it a piece at a time, and the governor put one piece in the spotlight today in New Haven by holding a press conference right in the middle of a bicycle lane. We talk extensively about highways and travels by car, but what we see on the ground through our city is that sustainable transportation also means being able to walk and bike to work. New Haven already has 40 miles worth of bike lanes, but officials say they need more than that in a city where a lot of people choose to not have a car and even more can't afford to have a car. A new report released just last week by the NAACP concludes that about one in every four New Haven households has no access to a car. Governor Malloy has already said he wants to install commuter rail service from New Haven to Springfield and widen I-95 the entire length of the state. He is also not ruling out bringing back tolls in order to pay for it all. The governor says he doesn't have the specifics yet because, remember, the plan is very, very big. It's going to be comprehensive in nature. It's going to be very large, and it's going to take uh, years to build out. Now, right now, Malloy's in the process of selling the public on the importance of this big transportation plan so that the General Assembly will eventually vote for it and vote for the necessary funding for it, whether that turns out to be taxes, fees, or bringing back those tolls. Live in the New Haven Newsroom, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.